Honey, I need to talk with you. Okay. What about? Uh, Hart. Oh, really? He was just here a little while ago. Oh. Things are still going so great. Are they? Yeah, they really are. I mean, it's amazing. It's better than I could have imagined. Oh, good. Yeah. The way he's bonding with the baby, it's just getting better and better. I mean, and with me, too. We, we were talking about baby names, and, and we decided that it's going to be Laura, if it's a girl, after his mother. Isn't that pretty? Uh, did you find out the sex of the baby? Uh, no, but... Uh, I just know it's a girl. It probably sounds silly, but I just really have this feeling that it's a girl. It doesn't sound silly. And I really want a girl, too. And Hart told me tonight that because he has Peter, he'd like to have a girl, too. Oh, we'll love it, whatever it is. I already do. I know. So why'd you come by? Because I have to talk to you. Right. When, and you said it's about heart, so it must be important. You don't usually drop by this late at night. <laughs> no, I don't. And I think I have a feeling what it is, Mother. I really think that you're just going to keep telling me that I... That I should not get my hopes up about Hart, but you, you've got to stop because I'm telling you, I know he's coming back to me. I mean, I just, I really, I really know it. I'm the mother of his child, and I'm the woman that he really loves. It's okay. Honey, come here and sit down. There's something that I have to tell you. There's something that you have to know. Come, sit. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm a newcomer to Springfield myself. What brought you here? Long story, but Reva Shane's my sister, so. This is Reva's house. Really? Well, where is she? She's on vacation with her husband, Josh, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Reva's the reason why Annie hates me, so. Why is that? Because Annie and Alan Spaulding tried to use me to get at Reva, and then we found out we were sisters, so we gave it right back at him. Well, I don't know this Annie Dutton, but uh... From everything I've learned about her and the uh, psychological profile I've compiled, I hope she's not the suspect. She is one dangerous woman. Yeah, so why don't we not talk about Annie for about five minutes? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> what about you? What brought you to Springfield? Well, I grew up outside of Detroit. My dad worked assembly lines building cars. My mom was a homemaker. They were actually... Uh, Kind of the Italian version of Ozzie and Harriet, so to speak. A big family? Oh, yeah. Seven of us. One sister, five brothers. And what number does that make you? Mm. Number three. We're all pretty tight, too, including my dad's brother. He was a cop in upstate New York. Been on the force almost 35 years. He just retired. Wow. Yeah. Was he your role model? Yeah. Yeah, he and my brothers, two of which are cops. I mean, growing up with the five of them, there was no way I wasn't going to be a tomboy. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. It's almost a survival instinct. I mean, I don't have five brothers, but Frank's overbearing enough for five. Oh, I hear that. I work with them. <laughs> I mean, my, my brothers were the exact same way, overprotective, which is one of the reasons I took this job in Springfield, to get away from my family. Been so sheltered my whole life, I've never really had a chance to live on my own, grow up. Oh, there are some of us who still haven't grown up yet. Who? Who? <laughs> yeah, but the downside of it is, it's hard to be away from my family. I mean, I miss them. I'm all alone here. I don't really know anyone in Springfield, so... Well, you have us now. I guess I do. Didn't you say you were engaged, Terry? When did I tell you that? Oh, I think you mentioned it when Frank brought you over to the Cooper place. Our place for a family get-together. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that, um... Unfortunately, that didn't work out. <laughs> really? What happened? Harley. What? What? Why are you in her business? We're having a slumber party. We're playing truth or dare. Truth or dare. What's what right? happened? That's right. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. I mean, there's not much to tell anyway. I'm... Same old story. My ex fell out of love with me. I'm sorry. I've been there myself. I never thought anything could hurt so much. Needless to say, my romantic track record has not improved much since then, which is killing my mother, of course, because she wants me to get married and give her grandkids. Uh. Immediately. <laughs> like every mother in America who has a daughter over 25 unmarried. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey. Uh -huh. How are you? 
Well, we've done it. It's the bewitching hour. Midnight. Well, night's over. Yes, it is, and it looks like you're still alive, Cass. And I want to thank you guys for keeping an eye on my lady, but I think I can take it from here. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that obituary was just meant to scare me, right? Mm -hmm. I guess we weren't in any real danger. So, thank you. Thank you guys for staying here with me, and thank you, Terry, for being our bodyguard. Hopefully we can do this again. Happier situation. It was not a problem. Listen, uh, if you're sure you're going to be okay, I mean, we don't necessarily have to leave. I'm not even sure it's the best idea. Yeah. I, I, I have heart here. Well, I can take, um, I can take the little one over to Frank's now. Uh, well, I don't know. Cassie, uh, she'll be perfectly safe over there. Okay, okay. I'll uh I'll bring her stuff over in the morning. Yay. <laughs> I love you too, sweetie. Okay. Give my pumpkin. Give me a kiss goodnight. Mm -hmm. Well, have a good night. All right. All right. Well, Jenna. Good night, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much. Yes, okay, be safe. I will. I will. Bye, darling. Listen, I'm going to release the, uh, all the patrolmen around the house. I'm going to call the station and make sure that you've got a patrol car outside for the rest of the night. I just want to make sure you guys are okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You need anything, you let me know. All right. She okay. has me. Yeah. Oh, I think you better keep this guy. I plan on it. Good night. So, it's after midnight and you survived? We're okay? Yes, this is, this is his wife. Yes, but could you please tell him that I called when he checks in? Thank you. again without Ben in my life I did the right thing I told the truth I should be able to walk that I needed to talk to you about Hart. And actually, it's about Hart and Cassie. What about them? Now, you know that I would never, ever want to hurt you. But what? But there is something that you you must know. Mother, why do you always do this to me? You know, I gotta start setting my watch by you, I swear. What are you talking about? I'm talking about raining on my parade. I asked you not to be negative. I asked you not to do this to me. Diane. You know, listen, it, everything is gonna be fine, okay? I am gonna get Hart back. I believe that Hart is in love with both me and Cassie, but I'm the mother of his child, you see? So I have the advantage. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you sorry? What? Cassie is pregnant. And she's carrying Hart's child. So, 
You went to see Dinah, huh? I had to. Why? Because I had to find out if she did it or not. And I got to tell you something, after talking to her, I don't think she had anything to do with this. No, she didn't. But you know what? It doesn't even matter anymore because I feel safe here with you. <laughs>